these apple turnovers are so flaky fine and crispy and is filled with a thick cinnamon flavored apple filling to make easy hand pies or turnovers we usually depend on store-bought puff pastry sheets which are not always a healthy choice as it contain more of trans hydrogenated fats but to make puff pastry sheets at home we find it very difficult and time consuming but in this video we'll see how to make tasty flaky healthier pastry sheets within 10 minutes of work time and the recipe is so simple that we use only five basic ingredients to make this puff pastry dough and here what i see as more important than the recipe is the technique that we use to make this puff pastry dough so in this video let's see how to make this easy and delicious apple turnovers in four simple steps so as the first step let's prepare our pastry dough to make puff pastry dough who will need butter and one key factor for making best puff pastry dough is to use a cold and solid butter so we are using frozen butter in this recipe so slice them thin of approximately one to two millimeter thickness and we don't need to be very precise on the dimension but we need to keep in our mind that we need these slices of butter to be packed in between the dough to get that flaky layers in our pastry and now into a bowl add in the flour salt and sugar and combine them all together so that the sugar and salt get evenly distributed in the flour and now let's add in the frozen butter into this and then just a toast in the flour and now it's time to add water to hydrate the flour and to keep our butter cold we are using cold water to prepare the dough and to get the best results let's add water little by little and i'm adding one tablespoon of cold water at a time and using a fork mix it into the flour to mix them i'm not using my hands now as our body temperature can cause the butter to melt So in total I've added 8 tablespoons of water now and now the butter is softer and the dough started to come together. So transfer this dough onto a clean work surface and now we need to bring it all together using our hands. We need only a few squishing and patting to form it into a dough. And I'm adding one more tablespoon of water as I see some more dry flour in the dough. So after a few squishing and patting, we prepared our dough. But as our butter is soft, we cannot work with the dough right now. 
so cover it with a plastic film and to make the best of these steps easier we need the butter to be cold and solid so place the dough in refrigerator for 30 to 45 minutes or until the dough becomes stiff and firm and now let's make the apple filling for this we can use any kind of apples but preferably those are tart and crisp and which will not get mashed up when cooked and here I've used a pink lady apples so slice them thin and small and add it into the saucepan and I'm adding a pinch of salt cinnamon powder and sugar and to make a thick apple filling we are using cornstarch so dissolve one tablespoon of cornstarch in one fourth of a cup of water and then add it into the apple mix and now take it onto the stove top and cook it over medium heat until the starch get cooked and the mixture thickens and it reaches the right consistency and to get more tanginess to the filling I'm adding lemon juice from half of a lemon which is optional and now let the filling cool down completely so now after 45 minutes of cooling our pastry dough is ready for the next step of rolling shaping and then assembling the pies so place the dough onto a lightly floured work surface and dust the top of dough and the rolling pin with some more flour and if you find the dough sticking to the rolling pin just like mine we have a simple trick which will make the process so much easier so place a parchment paper on top of dough and then roll the dough and you will find the rolling process is so much easier and your dough will not stick to the rolling pin and the pastry sheet will come out smooth and even and to make rectangular apple turnovers I've rolled the dough into a rectangular shape and divided it into six approximate equal squares and towards the end of the video we'll see how to shape them into half circles and triangles as well so spoon the filling on each of the squares and fold each square so that the edges line up and using the tines of a fork press them together to seal and transfer this onto a prepared baking sheet and now all of them are ready but we can see that the butter is soft and so a pastry dough is also soft and so if we place this soft pastry dough into the oven right now the butter will melt quickly and it will ooze out and we'll end up with a pool of butter so to prevent that and to make the best of flaky pastries we need our butter to be cold while we take it into the oven and so what we are going to do is to wrap it with a plastic film and place it into the freezer for 20 minutes and now we need to start preheating the oven to 400 Fahrenheit and so in another 20 minutes both our puff pastry dough and the oven will be ready for baking so it's been 20 minutes and our puff pastry dough is now cold and before taking them into the oven let's give an egg wash which will give a nice a golden brown color and shine to a pastry dough and optionally we can sprinkle the top with some granulated sugar
and now let's give a few slashes on top of the dough which will help the easy release of a steam while baking. And now they are all ready to go into the oven. So bake at 400 degree Fahrenheit for 10 minutes and then reduce the temperature to 375 Fahrenheit and bake for another 18 to 20 minutes. And after baking, we'll get those beautiful golden brown colored apple turnovers. So let's uh, transfer them onto a wire rack and uh, let them cool down completely. They are really hot when they are just out of the oven. And these pastries are light and crisp and those flakes are delicate and fine. And that thick apple filling in the center is uh, just perfect. And it's hard to believe that it's made with a quick homemade puff pastry dough and these are best to have with some vanilla ice cream. And we can make them into different shapes as well. I used the same dough and if we make these crescent shaped apple pies we'll get around 11 to 12 numbers. And we can use those leftover dough to roll it again. We can fold those squares diagonally to make triangle pies as well. And if you have any leftovers and you want to keep it for later, we can freeze them as well. And whenever you want to have them, just take it out and transfer this onto the baking tray and place it onto the cold oven and start heating your oven to 325 Fahrenheit. And in about 15 minutes, they will come out as they were freshly baked. And also we can make the pastry dough ahead of time and which will make the process much more easier on the baking day. I've written everything in detail on the blog and I've given the link to the blog post in the description box below and in the iCard above. I hope reading the blog post will help you. I hope you like this easy apple turnovers recipe and I hope you will make this at home and please let me know how it turned out for you and if you like this video please give your valuable thumbs up and please don't forget to share this recipe with your friends and family who love baking at home and thank you so much for your love and support and thanks for watching this video see you next time